Hello guys, this is Akash. Welcome back to this YouTube channel, Nursar with Lecture. In this video, I am going to discuss another chapter that is indefinite integration and definite integration. Basically, I am covering two chapters in one video only because uh, in indefinite vi uh, videos, uh, indefinite chapter, there are not so many questions in J advance. So, there is a high weightage in definite integration, but in order to make you understand the in 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 indefinite integration, so I have to make some problems in it so i chosen three to four questions and the remaining six questions are uh, the definite integration part only so uh, this top 10 question series i already done so many chapters so you can watch in this channel playlist and it is important uh, guys it because after revising every chapter the practicing questions is very important so you have to practice the relevant questions these questions are the previous year questions of j advance so it is very really important uh, to practice this uh, this type of questions so i already made some of the videos you can find that playlist or you can uh, search in the YouTube channel by the name uh, Nursery with Lecture uh, Complex Numbers ma uh, Quadratic Equations Matrices and Determinants You can find the videos Or you can join the Telegram group Where I place it the direct link So you can click By clicking the link You can directly access the video And also in Telegram group If anyone didn't join you, you can join the Telegram group The link is given in the description Because this Telegram group Is really important Because where I share the Every update For the exam For JMAs J Advance Everything I share in that only So you have to uh, Join the Telegram group And also subscribe to this channel For receiving this type of notification videos so uh, now let's get into this video and discuss the first question this is the first question guys uh, they are asking the integral in integral secant square x divided by secant x plus tan x whole power 9 by 2 dx is equal to they are asking the question uh, there are four options for this question uh, but there is no space so we can find the only answer then we can proceed what we have to do so now i am proceeding how i am proceeding watch carefully and also watch till the end this video because uh, it is really important you, uh, if you skip the skip the video uh, you miss the main questions which i chosen for j advanced 2023 so it is very important so first of all you have to approach this question like this integral secant square x divided by secant x plus tan x whole power 9 by 2 dx so uh, you are given like this now you have to think how you can uh, solve this so uh, how we can solve this you can solve this uh, by assuming by assuming what uh, see carefully here it is secant square x here it is secant x plus tan x whole power 9 by 2 so i am taking suppose secant x plus tan x equal to something suppose i am taking secant x plus tan x equal to t suppose i am assuming like this i can write big so that you can understand because in the previous videos some students have uh, messaged in the comment section uh, to write big so i am writing big uh, so basically i am assuming secant x plus tan x equal to t i am assuming like this so after assuming like this i can assume another thing that is if secant x plus tan x equal to t what about secant x minus tan x it is 1 by t simply reciprocal because we know one relation that is secant square x minus tan square x equal to 1 so secant x plus tan x into secant x minus tan x equal to 1 so secant x plus tan x equal to t so what about secant x minus tan x it is reciprocal of 1 by uh, secant x plus tan x so it is 1 by t now i am adding these two equations what i will get i will get 2 secant x equal to 1 plus 1 by t so secant x equal to half into half into t plus 1 by t i am getting like this this is secant x and what about i am uh, taking an assumption like this secant x plus tan x equal to t i assumed what is the differentiation of this uh, the secant x differentiation is secant x tan x and secant x is uh, tan x is secant square x equal to dt here it is dx so if i take common here secant x i can get secant x plus tan x secant x plus tan x dx equal to dt so secant x dx here it is secant x and dx here it is secant x plus uh, tan x so now what we can do we can do like this uh, here it is secant i taken common secant x so i taken common secant x i got secant x plus tan x uh, into dx equal to dt i got like this so i can replace now dx equal to like this now i can replace and also if you observe, observe carefully what i assumed secant x plus tan x i assumed secant plus tan x equal to t 
so i can replace complete thing i can replace complete thing and i can write simply secant x dx equal to dt by t i can write like this so suppose and uh, and extra what we can do so i can use these two things here it is secant square x what i can do secant x into secant x dx divided by secant x plus tan x whole power 9 by 2 but i assumed secant x plus tan x what secant x plus tan x equal to t so it will be t power 9 by 2 simply and now what is secant x into dx this secant x into dx is nothing but dt by t it is dt divided by t so it will come to down and it will be uh, become multiplication and what about secant x the secant x is half into t plus 1 by t this secant x i can replace as half into t plus 1 by t now it is very important to understand what it will become half into it is t square plus 1 divided by t into dt divided by here it is t power 11 by 2 because t power 9 by 2 plus t uh, into t power 1 9 by 2 plus 1 it is 11 by 2 like this so i can take common 1 uh, by 2 here and here if it uh, if you observe carefully it will be t square plus 1 divided by t uh, t into t power 11 by 2 dt it is simply like that now you can now you can note it down uh, this thing by passing the video i am rubbing this thing now i am solving from here what i will get here it is half into here it is uh, t square plus t square plus 1 divided by t into t uh, t power 11 by 2 what it will be t power 13 by 2 dt so here half into half integral uh, suppose i am dividing these two things what i will get t square divided by t power uh, 13 by 2 plus 1 divided by t power 13 by 2 dt so i am getting like this what about here what about uh, after dividing half into t square into t power minus 13 by 2 plus t power minus 13 by 2 dt and what is this thing t into t power uh, this thing here it is 4 minus 13 by 2 after taking lcm so 4 minus 13 by 2 is minus 9 by 2 so half into half into t power minus 9 by 2 t power minus 9 by 2 here it is integration symbol not uh, bracket be careful guys uh, t power minus 9 by 2 here it is t power minus 13 by 2 dt you can copy this thing now i am doing the integration part up to now the, the basic calculation is completed now it is the important thing that is it integration what is integral i can split the integral that is here t power minus uh, 9 by 2 and again i can split here it is integral 1 integral 2 i can split it and t power minus 9 by 2 what is integration t power minus 2 uh, uh, we already know what is integration t power n it is t power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 like this same here it is t power minus 9 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 9 by 2 plus 1 and here what about this integral this integral here it is t power minus 13 by 2 t power minus 13 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 13 by 2 plus 1 now observe carefully here it is t power 9 by 2 plus 2 here divided by here it is minus 9 plus 2 divided by 2 uh, plus here it is here it is uh, here it is t power minus 13 by 2 uh, plus 2 here divided by here it is minus 13 plus 2 divided by 2 so now you can think like this minus 9 plus 2 how much half into uh, here it is t power minus 7 by 2 and down it will be minus 7 by 2 plus integral that is the integration part is completed now you can this is a bracket now plus what about this here it is uh, minus 13 plus 2 it is minus 11 by 2 divided by here it is minus 11 by 2 now if i take like this t power minus 7 by 2 divided by 1 divided by minus 7 by 2 it will be 2 by 7 so what it, what it will came completely half into half into what it will be uh it will uh, the it will come to uh, top and it will become 2 into t power minus 7 by 2 divided by 7 and it will be minus here and here it is also minus and it will become t power minus 11 by 2 divided by 11 this is a thing now after that
so uh, while i solving uh, you take the uh, note note guys because it is really important uh, because i am rubbing uh, everything i am written before now after this what you can do you can multiply this half to total this half will cancel here this half will, will get cancel and what is uh, final thing the final thing is minus t power minus 7 by 2 by 7 minus t power minus 11 by 2 divided by 11 the final thing is this but the main thing here it is plus c because plus k suppose you can assume plus k because for some arbitrary constant k they are asked so you can after completing integration you can keep here plus k plus k you can keep here now what is t here what is we assume t we assume t as secant x plus tan x so secant x plus tan x we have to replace here so secant x plus tan x whole power minus 7 by 2 divided by 7 minus secant x plus tan x whole power minus 11 by 2 by 11 plus k this is the final answer of this integration like this you have to do first of all observe this thing secant x plus tan x what is secant x plus tan x you can use the identity secant square x minus tan square x equal to 1 so there secant x plus tan x into secant x minus tan x equal to 1 and secant x plus tan x equal to t what about secant x minus tan x it will be 1 by t like this i performed and i completed this integration this is the first question and you have to approach like this uh, there is a, a four options and this is one of the option uh, while i checking the questions the it, it is option c but you while you are checking in another website or anything any book you can uh, you can get another option but while i am doing it it came to me c option and this is a correct answer this is a correct answer but option may be different i don't know but answer is this thing first question got completed first question got completed now second question now second question important guys let i equal to integral e power x divided by e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1 dx this is i and they given j integral e power minus x divided by e power minus x plus e power minus 2x plus 1 dx this is another thing now they are asking then what is the value of what is the value of j minus i they are asking like this they are asking j minus i equals to and now there are four options i can split this uh, into four options a 1 by 2 log e power 4x minus e power minus 2 e power uh, 2x plus 1 divided by e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1 in uh, plus c here and option b is half log e power 2x plus e power x plus 1 divided by e power 2x minus e power x plus 1 plus c you can skip uh, some part of this video because uh, the writing is uh, important because i don't have smart board this is the whiteboard so i have to rub and write and i cannot prepare the slides so that is the reason you can skip some of the part Now listen carefully guys, uh, uh, the space is uh, limited only, so I will solve in this only. So, observe carefully here. What they given? They given let i equal to integral e power x divided by uh, e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1 into dx. And they given j equal to integral e power minus x divided by e power minus 4x plus e power minus 2x plus 1. You can clearly assume here, this thing, what you are seeing, you can write, rewrite this thing. That is here e power minus x. You can convert into 1 by e power x and in downwards it is you can easily convert into 1 by e power 4, uh, 4 x. Like that when you convert and when you multiply to the top, you what you will get? You will get here e power 3 x divided by 1 plus e power 2 x plus e power 4 x. This thing you are getting after changing the sign. That is e power minus x is replaced as 1 by e power x e power minus 4x is replaced as 1 by e power 4x so while doing like this and after solving after evaluating completely you will get this so, so this is j now what they uh, said they have to uh, we have to report j minus i what is j here j is integral e power 3x divided by 1 plus e power 2x plus e power 4x and what is i i is integral e power x divided by e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1 
e power 2x plus 1. So if you observe carefully, the denominators are same. So you can combine this thing. That is e power 3x minus e power x divided by e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1. You can combine this. And also there is another thing. You, uh, from this you can take common e power x. If you take common e power x, what it will be? e power x 2x minus 1 divided by e power 4x plus e power 2x plus 1. This is the thing. And dx is there. For every part dx will be compulsory. Here it is dx, here it is dx. So because we are uh, integrating with respect to x. Now if you observe carefully what it is. e power x into dx. Are you getting idea? e power x into dx. Suppose if I take e power x equal to t. What about e power x dx equal to dt? So I can replace e power x into dx as dt. So I completely replacing this thing. And what are the, what is the overall integral now? Overall integral is, you can assume, uh, here it is uh, dt completely. So I, I write uh, right side dt and e power 2x. e power 2x is nothing but t square. t square minus 1 divided by down t power 4 plus t square plus 1. So the final integral is this thing. So you have to evaluate this. So I am uh, making box here and I am rubbing the upper side, this thing. Now we have to in, uh, integrate this thing. Integral t square minus 1 divided by t power 4 plus t square plus 1 into dt. We have to integrate this. So now we have to think how you can do. Now what I am thinking there uh, you can easily see i can take common here t square and in top also i can take common t square what i will get 1 minus 1 by t square divided by t square into t square plus 1 plus 1 by t square i can take common like this and after taking common i can cancel these two things this is dt here and after that what i can do uh, what i can do i can rewrite this thing I can rewrite this completely. What? How I can rewrite? Because we already know what is t plus 1 by t whole square. t square plus 1 by t square in uh, plus 2 into 2 into uh, 1 by t into t. So it will be t square plus 1 by t square plus 2. That is t plus 1 by t whole square it is t square plus 1 by t square plus 2. There is two things here. t square plus 1 by t square. So what I will, what I can do, I can replace these things. I can replace these things. Suppose I am completely taking this. That is, uh, you can assume this thing. I am not taking assumption. I am just thinking to change this thing completely. That is t square plus 1 plus 1 by t square. I want to replace, replace it. So how I can replace t square plus 1 by t square is here. And suppose you, you can write this thing also plus 1 plus 1. And the complete thing can be replaced by t plus 1 by t whole square minus 1. So I am completely ta uh, taking the denominator part like this. t plus 1 by t whole square minus 1. Now another crucial step. Why I done this? Because now I am taking another assumption. That is t plus 1 by t equal to suppose yes I am taking what is the differentiation i have to change the sign that is dt i have to change into ds so it will be 1 minus 1 by t square into dt equal to ds so 1 1 minus 1 by t square dt here it is so i can completely shift to the numerator that is ds divided by t plus 1 by t is s sir. it is s square minus 1 so now what is the differentiation that is what is the integration of uh, dx divided by a square minus x square Look at here, it is integration dx divided by a square minus x square dx. So what is the integration of this formula? That is 1 by 2a. Uh, it is not a square minus x square, it is x square minus a square formula. Because here variable is x, that is yes, here it is x. So what is the formula here? 1 by 2a log of, log of x minus a divided by x plus a. This is the formula. So I have to apply this formula to here. What is a here? a here it is 1. So 1 by 2 log of, what is x here? Yes sir s yes, minus 1 divided by s yes plus 1 this is the thing now the complete integration is completed now what i have to do i have to replace s yes. that is half log what is s yes here s yes is t plus 1 by t 
t plus 1 by t minus 1 divided by here it is t plus 1 by t plus 1 so half log uh, here it is t square plus 1 minus t divided by t square plus 1 plus t and what is t here t we assumed as e power x so half log half log e power uh, e power x we assumed so here it is so here uh, here it is uh, e power 2x plus e power 2x minus e power x plus 1 divided by divided by e power 2x plus e power x plus 1 so where is the option check the option same uh, like this half log e power x minus e e power 2x minus e power x plus 1 divided by e power 2x plus e power x plus 1 so the option is c like this you have to solve the second question completed now third question and these two things are definite integration not it is indefinite integration so definite integration what is the difference between indefinite integration and definite integration in indefinite integration there is no limit given for the integration there is no limit given for the integration but in the definite integration it will be implements now third question third question is integration x square minus 1 divided by x cube root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 dx really really important question this type of model questions are coming in JE mains as well this is options part option a question is simple this is a uh, uh, very little question but you have to think very carefully how to solve you have to solve now it is a option a is root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by x uh, by x square plus c and option b root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by x cube plus c and option c root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by x plus c and option d root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by 2x square plus c now let's do this question uh, let's uh, see the question what it what it given integration x square minus 1 dx divided by x cube into root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 what is the simplest thing i said when i am uh, teaching in the change makers bath series i already explained every chapter one shot in the change makers bath series so if you want to revise you can revise there i explained the form when uh, what we have to think when you see this type of form when you see this type of form you can simply take uh, do one thing that is what is the thing present in the under root take the highest power common highest highest power common so this is the one and more only important thing you can do to solve this question so uh, you can see here i'm now i'm solving this question one uh, x square minus one x square minus one and down it is x cube only now i'm taking x power four common X, when you take x power 4 common and it is under root so it will be reduced by 2 units and it will be into x square and under root 2 minus 2 by x square plus 1 by x power 4 this thing will be remained in the uh, denominator and uh, what is the thing uh, present here x cube into x square it will be x power 5 it will be x power 5 and now what I am doing I am dividing this th uh, these two things that is, I am dividing the numerator and denominator. That is, x square divided by x power 5 minus 1 by x power 5. Like this, I am doing. Why I am doing, you, uh, you will know. You will know by the next step. Because, now I am thinking what to do. The under root thing you have to see carefully. Suppose, if, suppose, 2 minus 2 by x square plus 1 by x power 4. If we assume it as t. Now, what is dt? Now, uh, what is the differentiation of this thing the differentiation of this thing is uh, the constant term it is 0 and for this it is minus 2 into x power minus 2 plus x power minus 4 uh, x power minus 4 equal to t now up to now i didn't uh, done any differentiation now minus 2 into minus 2 into x power minus 1 that is x power uh, 
here it is x cube 1 divided by x cube when i subtract so it will be uh, when i subtract one thing minus 3 and uh, down what you will get what you will get you will get uh, the thing is completed now uh, you can assume simply think one guys uh, leave this minus 2 what is a dif uh, differentiation of x power minus 2 that is integration of x power minus 2 you have to do differentiation only but uh, when you do differentiation it is minus 2 into x power minus 3 uh, uh, yes it is uh, minus 2 by x cube it is minus 2 by x cube so it will be minus 2 by x cube and the complete thing is 4 by x cube yes and here it will be it will be minus 4 by x power 5 dd dx don't think too much i say uh, done just the differentiation to minus 2 into x power minus 2 differentiation is 4 by x cube x power minus 4 differentiation is minus 4 by x power 5 into dx equal to dd now if you observe carefully if you take common here 4 1 by x cube minus 1 by x power 5 into dx equal to dt and if i shift this 4 to down this complete thing is known to you here it is present so i can replace everything like this 1 by 4 into dt divided by dt divided by what i assume this thing t it will be now uh, you can assume uh, it has t square because it is under root now you can assume t square there is no problem you can assume t square when you assume t square what it will be it will be 2t dt here it will be 2d dt why i am doing this because i have to remove the under root so i can it will be easy for me to do the uh, question now 2t dt divided by 4 it will be half so it will be half here not one, uh, 1 by 4 it will be half and there will be t here there will be t here and another thing what is another thing and what is uh, the denominator it is under root t square under root t square is t t t will get cancelled and what it will be half into t just half into t what is half that is what is t here what is t what i assume t t is under root under root of 2 minus 2 by x square plus 1 by x power 4 and if you take the lcm here what you will get half half root of 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by x power 4 and under root of x power 4 is x square x square so what you will get you will get like this so under root of 2 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by 2x square where it is option 2x power 4 minus 2x square plus 1 divided by 2x square yes this is correct option option d is correct like this you have to solve you have to take highest common uh, highest factor as common and after taking common you can easily see uh, how to perform the next thing you have to assume just what is under root thing and you have to do the next steps so this is the thing the third question is completed now third question is completed now fourth question up to now uh, what we done indefinite integration now we are going to do the def uh, definite integration definite integration the question is the value the value of integration minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x divided by 1 plus e power x dx is equal to option a pi square by 4 minus 2 option b pi square minus e power pi by 2 option c pi square by 4 plus 2 option d pi square plus e power pi by 2 now this is a definite integration why it is called definite integration because there are limits here and also if you observe carefully this thing if i consider as i i equal to this thing now what i am doing i am applying properties suppose this is minus a to a property minus a to a f of x dx and minus a to a f of x dx can be written as two things that is 0 to a 2 times 0 to a f of x dx if it is uh, if, if f of x is even and it is 0 when f of x is odd you already know this property so i am applying this property here so i can write i equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 when i apply here this 1 plus e power x can be completely transformed by 2 how it is transformed simply substitute minus x 
check uh, by doing minus x by doing minus x it will be cos square uh, numerator is same but denominator it will be 1 plus 1 by e power x so 1 plus 1 by e power x is what e power x into 1 plus e power x and this is i you already know and this is i this is i suppose if i add those uh, two things that is 2i 2i equal to what i will get uh, x square cos x uh, if i take common i will get e power x plus 1 divided by 1 plus e power x this e power x this this thing will be gets cancelled and i equal to what half x square cos x integration so same i done here by 2 this is the thing and why i am doing into 2 here because this is even function that the numerator is even function so you have to do 2 times integral 0 to a that is 0 to pi by 2 so here it will be 1 and what about x square cos x dx now we have to focus on this thing now you have to focus on this thing uh, that is x square cos x how you can do the differentiation that is how you can do the integration of this this is integral pa uh, integrable part this is differentiable part so you can make like this differentiation integration you can take the differentiation part here x square here it is cos x and here it is 2x it is 2 it is 0 you can do like this here it is uh, integral part cos x integration is sin x sin x integration is minus cos x uh, minus cos x integration is minus sin x and here plus minus plus minus you can do like this and after that you can cross multiply this you can cross multiply this so i equal to what 0 to pi by 2 x square sin x minus into minus plus 2x cos x minus 2 sin x this is the thing and the integration is completed now you can apply limit that is 0 to pi by 2 now i equal to when i apply pi by 2 limit here what i will get pi square divided by 4 pi by 2 it is 1 here so same and here when i apply pi by 2 the, these two thing is uh, 0 this thing is 0 what about this thing here it is minus 2 this thing now this is one thing but we have to apply 0 also so when i apply 0 uh, this thing is 0 this thing is 0 this thing is also 0 so what is the final answer here that is pi square divided by 4 minus 2 when i apply pi by 2 limit in both uh, in three sides i will get pi square by 4 minus 2 what is the option pi square by 4 minus 2 option a like this you have to solve you have to see which property is fitting this it is minus a to a property so i have to check by throwing minus into x plus if it is if it is uh, 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 when you throw minus x into the function if it is minus of f of x it is odd function if it is f of x just it is even function here the numerator uh, the numerator and denominator is completely the even function that is a reason why i changed the limit to 0 to pi by 2 i already said to you so this is the fourth question completed now fifth question now fifth question for for each positive for each positive integer n let y power n equal to 1 by n into n in n plus 1 into n plus 2 up to n plus n whole power 1 by n if limit n tending to infinity y power n equal to l then value of greatest integer of l is dash this is question very important because this question involves the summation part limit limit at the sum this question is really important guys because it involves the limit uh, limit n tend to infinity problem so this type of questions are really important wait guys i am adjusting the mic yes it is completed uh, so now you you have to assume this thing y power n equal to 1 by n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 and so on up to n plus n up to 1 by n now what i am doing carefully listen guys it is in the product form but what i said in the change makers batch when i am discussing the definite integration limit to the sum you have to have the summation not in the multiplication so how we can convert the product into the summation by applying the log on both sides log on both sides log on both sides we get what you will get you will get log y n equal to uh, here it is 
here it is 1 by n so now again another thing i am taking this 1 by n and i am writing like this is this correct or not i am distributing n in the denominator and what is the complete multiplication of n here n power n and what is the power of 1 by n here n so it is correct so here it is 1 by n so i converted into like this so now it is correct so basically what i done here i distributed now while applying that is log i am applying here i can write here log if you apply log here the power will come to the down that is 1 by n 1 by n into what it will be it will be log log of n plus 1 divided by n plus log of n plus 2 divided by n and and so on log of n plus n divided by n like this it will be and now can i sum sum this yes how 1 by n sigma r equal to 1 to n log of n plus r divided by n what is r here 1 2 3 it is changing term so i replace r equal to 1 to n n plus r divided by n so now i can divide these two things what i will write here i will write here 1 by n sigma r equal to 1 n log of 1 plus r by n i can divide now what i said in the change makers batch i said you can completely transform like this you can completely transform r by n as x and uh, sigma part sigma r equal to 1 to n it is integration and 1 by n you can replace as dx so after doing this transformation the complete problem is shifting like this that is integration integration log of 1 plus x dx and what are the limits here you have to divide divide these things 1 by n it is 0 when n is trending to 0 and here uh, it is 1 so 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x dx it is completely transformed equation and what is it is equal to log of y, log y by n now listen carefully guys here log of y by n suppose i have to subject subject y by n what it will be e power integral 0 to 1 log of 1 plus x dx now listen here you can see here this is e power suppose if you for some time it, it will be let it be log of, log only i can uh, later you can shift what is the integration of log of 1 plus x what is the integration of log x you know the log x integration it is x log x minus x See, similarly i can do like this that is 1 plus x into log of 1 plus x minus 1 i can do this thing and i can apply the limits now what is the limit here one when you apply here it will be it will be 2 into 2 into here uh, it will be log 2 log 2 minus 1 it will be completely so 2 log 2 minus 2 and if you apply 0 here it will be 1 it will be log 1 log 1 it is 0 here it will be what it will be Uh, this is a crucial step guys you have to understand very carefully suppose you can directly do this why you are bothering we can uh, simply replace this 1 plus x equal to t dx equal to dt simply replace this thing and we have to change the limits when it when x is 0 t is 1 so when x is 0 t is 1 and when x uh, when x is 1 t is 2 so 1 to 2 log t dt and what is the integration of log t t t into log t minus 1 and applying limits 2 to 1 so 2 2 log 2 minus 2 minus minus uh, plus 1 so it will be 2 log 2 minus 1 2 log 2 minus 1 and 1 can be written as log uh, log 2 base 2 you can write like this yes uh, you can uh, write like this and he here it is also like this only 2 log uh, 2 log you, uh, you can take another base suppose you can take base 10 now what it will be now you can transfer this it will be log 4 that is uh, 4 here yes now after this thing now it will be One second. One second, guys. There is error here. The answer should be.
Sim, there is a calculation error, but up to now what we did, uh, done is correct only. There is no mistake. Wait, wait guys, I will verify. Log t integration is t log t minus t. Applying limits 2, 1. 2 log 2 minus 2 minus. When you apply 1, it will be 0. It will be just minus 1. So 2 log 2 minus 2 plus 1. It will be 2 log 2 minus 1. It will be log 4. Log 4 minus 1. And after this, you have to think. Suppose if you think, here it is log, uh, log E base E. Log E base E is 1. Here it is. Log 4 base E. Like this you can think. Yes, uh, you can make like this. You can make this as 4 by E base E. Yes, it is now. Now it is log of log y by log y n equal to this thing log 4 by e base e this log log thing is cancelled and you get y n equal to uh, uh, 4 by e and this this limit n tend to infinity we will, uh, that only we done so what is this thing this is l so l equal to 4 by e correct only 4 by e they asked what greatest integer greatest integer of this thing greatest integer of this thing so you can assume uh, greatest integer of 4 by e. 4 by e, e is 2.7. Uh, 27 divided by 40. 27 once 27, it will be it will be 13, uh, 13, 0, 27. So it will be 1 point something. 1 point something. 1 point something greatest integer is 1. So the answer for this is 1. Like this, you have to do. It is very important, guys. Understand carefully. Fifth question is completed. Now sixth question. Now sixth question. Sixth question it is i equal to 2 by pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 dx divided by 1 plus e power sin x e power sin x into 2 minus cos 2x now here again it is minus pi by 2 uh, minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 cos is same this thing it is it is not changing this is the same thing so i already said if it is in the denominator you can completely erase this thing and outside you can multiply into 1 by 2 I already said this thing in the previous question. So it will be 2t will get cancelled. Now the equation will be transformed into 1 by pi integration. And again it is even function. So we can write 0 to pi by 4. 0 to pi by 4. And 0 to pi by 4 what? You have to think that. 0 to pi by 4 and it is 2 times. Again 2 by pi. There is no change here. Again 2 by pi. 0 to pi by 4. dx divided by 2 minus cos 2x. This thing, uh, sorry, sorry, up to now I didn't reveal the question. Uh, yes, it is correct. Uh, then find. Then find 27 i square. What is the value of 27 i square? This is the question. Now listen carefully, guys. This is 2 by pi, 0 to pi by 4. Let's leave this thing. Let's leave this thing. This is a multiplication. Now we have to completely focus on integration 0 to pi by 4. dx divided by 2 minus cos 2x. So 0 to pi by 4 dx divided by 2 minus cos 2x can be written as 1 minus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x yes now integration 0 to pi by 4 dx divided by 2 2 plus 2 tan square x minus 1 plus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x this uh, will go to top it will be 0 to pi by 4, 1 plus tan square x into dx divided by, here it is 3 tan square x plus 1, 
now 0 to pi by 4 it will be secant square x dx 1 plus tan square x equal to secant square x dx you already know this relation secant square x minus tan square x equal to 1 so 1 plus tan square x equal to secant square x so I just, uh, just re uh, replace this thing and now here it will be 3 tan square x plus 1 now listen carefully if I take the substitution tan x equal to t what is secant square x dx it will be dt so this complete thing I can replace now so it will be 0 to uh, now again we have to change the limits when it is uh, when x is 0 t is t is 0 when x is pi by 4 t is 1 so 0 to 1 it will be dt divided by 3t square plus 1 so we can write uh, we have to take common here that is 1 by 3 0 to 1 dt divided by t square plus 1 by root 3 whole square we can write like this so what is the form here what is the form I, uh, I can write here I can write here so what is the form here this is the integration of the form dx divided by a square plus x square what is the integration of this 1 by a tan inverse x by a so 1 by 3 common uh, it will be 1 by a that is 1 by 1 by 3 it will be root 3 root 3 tan inverse x by that is here t by t by root uh, t by 1 by root 3 t is root 3 t what is t here t is tan x but we, uh, you can write direct t only you uh, there is no need to change here it is yes now what is the limits here the limits is 1 to 0 now I am applying the limits 1 by 3 root 3 when I when it is 1 it will be tan inverse pi by 3 what is tan inverse pi by uh, tan inverse root 3 it is it will be 60 it is pi by 3 yes it is pi by 3 root 3 into root 3 into pi by 3 minus when it is 0 it will be tan inverse 0 tan inverse 0 it will be it will be what you can take uh, tan inverse 0 uh, up to now what we done is correct up now you have to do a very crucial step uh, it is root 3 into pi by 3 only when we apply 0 here it, it is tan inverse 0 what is tan inverse 0 it can be 0 it can be pi yes it is it can be pi so suppose it, it we can check it is pi suppose here it is what you can take common here pi we can take common pi by 3 uh, here it is root 3 1 by root 3 minus 1 yes 1 by root 3 minus 1 and now the integration is completed now we have to multiply with 2 by pi into 2 by pi 2 by pi because here it is pi pi will get cancelled pi pi will get cancelled and and after this this 2 by 3 will be uh, something and 1 minus root 3 divided by root 3 yes basically uh, here we can we cannot take like this yes yes because we can take directly 0 here without pi so it will be 0 simply so after this you can uh, do pi by 3 as like this and after this pi by 3 I take, pi has taken uh, something like this common uh, it is 1 by root 3 and after 1 by root 3 what it is we have to multiply with 2 by pi 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 will get cancelled and here it is pi pi will get cancelled now now what it what it is left 2 by 3 root 3 is left this is i what they ask 27 i square 27 into what is i square it will be 4 divided by 27 27 27 will get cancelled it is 4 so what is answer 4 like this you have to solve why i taken here t is 0 because by taking t equal to 0 i can able to solve this question that is a that is a reason i taken like this sixth question is completed now seventh question now seventh question seventh question it is the value the value of the 
द वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पाई बाई टू थ्री रूट कॉस्ट टीटा डिवाइडेड बाई रूट कॉस्ट टीटा प्लस रूट साइन टीटा होल पॉवर फाइव डी टीटा इक्वल्स टू डैश दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन गाइस नाउ थिंक व्हाट वी कैन डू व्हाट वी कैन डू सपोज इफ यू एज्यूम दिस एज आई now it is 0 to pi by 2 i can replace this thing like this i equal to 0 to pi by 2 i can i can apply this formula 0 to s f of x dx dx equal to integration 0 to a f of a minus x dx i can replace this thing so it will be 3 root cos of pi by 2 minus theta divided by root of cos of pi by 2 minus theta plus root of sin of pi by 2 minus theta Into d theta. So now what it is transform zero to pi by two? It is three root sine theta now divided by root sine theta plus root cos theta d theta. Now when this is i, this is i. So I can add these two things. Two i, two i equal to zero to pi by two. Three root cos theta plus three root sine theta divided by denominator. It is uh, it is same here. It is Or five or whatever. These two things is same. Root of cos theta plus root of sine theta. Whole power five. Whole power five. I can take common three. And I can cancel with one term. Understood? I can cancel like this. Now what is left? Two i equal to integration zero to pi by two. Now outside three, one divided by. Root of cos theta plus root of sine theta, whole power four d theta. This thing is left now. I can come uh, do like this three by two. Now, now think guys, what we can do here? We can convert this thing as tan. Tan we can convert. How? By dividing, by dividing with root cos theta. Dividing with root cos theta. So. When we divide, we have to multiply also. Root cos theta. That is, when it is uh, down, so it is when we it is going to up, it will be secant. Simply secant. So, what I can do? I equal to three by two integration zero to pi by two. It will be one plus root tan theta whole power four and in the denominator. Uh, and in the denominator, it is it is uh, secant square, secant square theta. Now i equal to three by two integration zero to pi by two. Now I am taking other option tan theta equal to t square secant square theta d theta equal to two t d t. I can take another other option. And if theta equal to zero, theta equal to zero, t is zero. Zero yes. When theta is pi by two, it is infinity. I can replace this as infinity because I am taking I am taking the assumption. So I can replace these things. Now what I can do? Now uh, this thing is two t dt, two t dt divided by one plus one plus t whole power four. Yes. And I can cancel these two things. Yes. Now now we have to think what we can do. I can drop this part. Now, now it is the crucial step will come. Three integral zero to infinity. Here, I can write t as t plus one minus one. I can write t uh, like this divided by one plus t whole power four. And now there is a magic. I can uh, divide. One plus t whole power three minus one by one plus t whole power four dt like this. Yes. Now, if you assume carefully, this is one function, and there is a differentiation of this thing. This is function. So what it will be? This is integration of f of x plus y of x. This is a thing here. This is a catch. Important thing. So when we divide, 
when we divide i can write like this and what it will become it will become i equal to 3 times of 3 times of 1 plus t whole cube yes wait i will check it will be uh, this thing so it will be the uh, same that is integration f of x plus f dash x it will be equal to it will be equal to what it will be equal to it will be equal to t times t times 1 plus t whole cube like this you can you can take after we can substitute limit infinity to 0 or you can change the limits i equal to 3 what is t t is, uh, t is root root and data we can replace like this and when you do all this uh, this stuff you can get this is the same this is what we done is correct so at the final you can get uh, 3 into root t into 1 plus 1 plus root t that is whole cube and here it, you can change the limit 0 to pi by 2 and you can you can get this and the, and the final answer after calculating this is this is important thing there is a slight error while i am calculating this you can verify in the formula section the formula is integration f of x plus f dash x x into f dash x uh, there is a missing here so that is the reason that is the reason guys uh, i am left uh, up to now but the answer should be 0 0.5 up to now what we done is correct but here this thing this thing is whether this is correct or not but up to now what we done process is correct there is a slight formula error here the seventh question is completed the answer should be 0 0.5 up to now what we done is correct only now eighth question for any for any real number x let step x let step x denotes the largest largest integer less than or equal to x if i equal to integration 0 to 10 root of 10x divided by x plus 1 dx then value of 9i equal to what so basically 0 to 10 root of tan x plus uh, x plus one, uh, 1 so here step x for any real number x let step x denotes the greatest integer less than or equal to x at 2 x uh, wait i will check question Here it will be uh, greatest integer, I, I think. Yes. Now we have to evaluate. How we can do this thing? I equal to 0 to 10 root of 10x divided by x plus 1 dx. Now we have to check whether this 10x divided by x plus 1 is an integer or not. 10x divided by x plus 1. When it will be an integer between 0 to 10. Between x 0 to 10. How many times it is becoming an integer? That is the main important point. We have to grab. Suppose if I equate to 1, it will be 10x equal to x plus 1. It will be 9x equal to 1, x equal to 1 by 9. So, at x equal to 1 by 9, you have to break it. So, first of all, I can write like this. 0 to 9. And what is the value of 0 in between 0 to 1 by 9? This, this is 0. 0 dx plus. And now, I have to uh, change the limit. That is 1 by 9. And here, and here now I have to do 2. I have to replace 2. What I, what I can get? 10x equal to 2x plus 2. It will be 8x equal to 2x equal to 1 by 4. I can replace 1 by 9 to 1 by 4. Yes? Yes, it is correct. Uh, one second, guys. 10x equal to... Um, 10x equal to, suppose if you, if you take it is 4... 4 you can uh, easily get this thing it is 4 uh, 6x 
10 x by x plus 1 equal to 4 10 x equal to 4 x plus 4 6 x equal to 4 x equal to 2 by 3 yes there is a slight error here it is not step here it is outside step so i have to think this so there is a root here we have to equate the root part this is a slight error part that is the reason why i am checking here it is root and first of all we checked one so what we got x equal to 1 by 9 we got and now we are checking 10x by x plus 1 equal to 2 what i will get 10x by x plus 1 equal to 4 10x uh, what i will get now x x equal to 2 by 3 i will get so i can replace here 2 by 3 so now it will begin 1x an integration now 2 by 3 now i am equating to 3 now it will be 10x divided by x plus 1 equal to 9 and 10x equal to 9x plus 9 it will be x equal to 9 so i can i can write like this 2 by 3 to 9 now it will be 2 2 dx now last thing it is 9 now we can break the limit to 9 to 10 3 dx yes 3 dx now it is completed now there is, uh, there is nothing left we have to just calculate now see carefully guys why i written like this what is the main purpose behind this equation think about once because here they given 0 to 10 but 0 to 10 this this function is changing the values irrespectively of the without the x so we have to break the limit in such a way that you can calculate the answer suppose there is a step function this is a step function this is a step function if in order to calculate the area or you can in order to calculate the different integral you have to integrate it with respect to this limit only you cannot integrate the total value because at this point there is no step value so you cannot calculate so you have to break the limit that is the reason we break the limit and it is 0 you can rub here and here it is 1 1 it is x and it is 2 by 3 and 1 by 9 and here it is 2 so it will be 2x and the limits are 9 2 by 3 and again it will be uh, 3 times x and it will be 10 and 9 now we have to substitute the limits 2 by 3 minus 1 by 9 plus 2 into 9 minus 2 by 3 plus 3 into 10 minus 9 10 minus 9 it is 1 so you can directly write and here it is 27 it will be 3 to the 6 minus 6 minus 3 it is 3 3 divided by 27 it is 1 by 9 plus 2 times of 9 3 is 27 27 minus uh, 25 by 3 here 50 by 3 50 by 3 plus 3 so complete LCM is 9 now 1 plus uh, 1 plus 150 plus now it will be uh, 9 3 is 27 so completely it is 150 28 8 7 1 178 divided by 9 this is a complete thing we got but they ask 9 into i this is i value what is 9 into i 9 into i is 9 into 178 divided by 9 9 9 will get cancelled 9 i equal to 178 so the complete answer is 178 like this you have to do this is 8th question 8th question is completed Eighth question is completed. Eighth question is completed. Now ninth question. The greatest integer less than the greatest integer less than or equal to or equal to integral 1 to 2 log x cube plus 1 x cube plus 1 with base as 2 dx plus integral 1 to log 9 base 2 2 power x minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 dx equal to dash we have to report the greatest integer for complete this answer now uh, we can go to the solution part and see let's see guys the greatest integer less than or equal to this thing now i am taking this this thing i1 i can uh, name it as i1 integration 1 to log 9 base 2 2 2 power x minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 dx now what i can think of 2 power x minus 1 equal to t cube i can replace so 2 power x log 2 dx equal to 3 t square dt and and what dx equal to 3t square divided by 2 power x log 2 dt and what is 2 power x here 2 power x is t cube plus 1 
so i can completely replace into in terms of t so and as if you check the limits when it is when it is log 9 by 2 that is if we substitute 2 power log 9 by 2 minus 2 this 2 will get cancelled 9 minus 1 it is 8 so limit 8 and when it is 1 when it is 1 it is 2 minus 1 it is 1 so 1 to 8 limit now 1 to 8 now and 2 cube minus 1 whole cube uh, this is completely what I replace this is t cube so it is t and what is dx here dx is 3t square divided by t cube plus 1 into log 2 log 2 dt and this is 3t cube completely this is a thing now now what we can think after now we solve the question now we have to think in another way now what we can do here Now, now what I am thinking is, now I am writing same 1 to 2, but now I am changing the values of x. That is, I can write any any variable t cube plus 1, 2 dt plus integral. Now it is changing to 1 to 8, 1 to 8, 3 to cube divided by t cube plus 1 into log 2 dt. Yes. Now what we can think? Now, hmm, one second, here we assume 2 power x minus 1 equal to t cube. When I am substituting the limit log 9 by 2, 2 power log 9 by 2 minus 1. This two things will get cancelled and I will get 9, 9 minus 1 equal to t cube, 8 equal to t cube. What is the value of t? It is 2, it is not 8. I don't need a mistake here. So now I can change this completely as 1 to 2. 1 to 10, I, I can uh, mix these two things. That is log t cube plus 1 by 2 plus 3t, 3t cube divided by t cube plus 1 into log 2. Log 2. And it is completely dt. Now, now what we can uh, do here? After now we have done what is uh, it is correct only. Now we have to think how we can solve this. So here listen carefully guys it is 3 to cube i can write it as t square and i can multiply here t into observe this thing and observe this thing what you can think of it is f of t it is t into f, f dash t yes because log of t cube plus 1 base 2 the differentiation is this only so this complete form when it is applying to integral what is the outcome t into f of t plus c so i can write like this what is t t cube that is complete thing t cube plus one into what is f of t what is the function log t cube plus one log t cube plus one base two this is the thing now the limits are two one completely uh, the sol solving part is completed now when applying the limit 2 cube what it will be yes it is correct only there is no there is no doubt so when it is 2 what i will get mm. 
here we have to check the formula integral f of t plus t into f dash t whether it is f of t into f of t plus c or not you have to check once sorry guys here t is nothing but here what here it is not tq plus 1 it is t only because the thing which is outside that you have to write now so it is t only so there is no confusion here it is t when it is 2 here 2 log here it is 2 cube it is uh, 9 by 9 base 2 and minus here it is 1 1 into uh, 1 into here it is 2 here that is 3 square I can take 2 as outside it will be 4 so 4 log 4 log 3 base 2 minus here it will be here it will be t cube plus 1 so t cube plus 1 what is when we apply 1 as limit what you will get log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 so this thing we got so finally what you got 4 log 3 base 2 minus 1 we have to report the greatest integer of this what is the greatest integer of this it is simply 5 because it the complete part is greater than 5 this complete part is greater than 5 so greater than 5 the greatest integer is 5 so like this you have to do 9 questions got completed Nine questions got completed. Now last question, guys. Important. Uh, the next question is the J advanced question only. Consider the equation. This question I got in J advanced 2022. Important question and very simple question. They asked me which of the following are true. Which of the following are true? And they given first option. No A satisfies the above equation. No A satisfies the above equation. And option 2, it is an integer an integer a satisfies satisfies above equation and option 3 an irrational number satisfies an irrational number satisfies above equation and option 4 I got completed three options. Yes, option four is. You can fast forward, guys, if you uh, don't want to waste time. Because writing the question requires some time. Because I have to write correctly. Otherwise, the session will go length for doing one question. Because if I write any mistake, it will be very difficult for you. More than. More than one year satisfies the above equation more than one year satisfies the above equation now the solution part important guys listen carefully consider the equation this is the equation they given log of x base c e whole power 1 by 2 in, divided by x into x into a minus log x base c e whole power 3 by 2 2 now what I am taking this complete thing a minus log x base c e whole power 3 by 2 I am taking as t suppose now what I will get the differentiation part I will get 3 by 2 log x base c e whole power 3 by 2 minus 1 into what is log x differentiation 1 by x d, dx equal to dt now observe carefully 3 by 2 minus 1 what is 3 by 2 minus 1 it will be 1 by 2 uh, it is 1 by 2 now this uh, if you observe carefully if you uh, if you remove this 3 by 2 part and if you observe complete this thing this complete thing 
this complete thing it is completely converted into dt so it will be 1 by e and here 3 by 2 it will be 2 by 3 when i uh, move to downwards so it will be dt divided by dt divided by it will be completely completely it is t so it will be t square so 2 by 3 and also we have to change the limits now uh, what we have to change we have to change the limits when uh, when it is 1 downside when x is 1 it will be a when, uh, and when x is e it will be uh, when x is e it will be a minus 1 so we have to change the limits now 2 by 3 what is t square uh, integration it is t, uh, t power minus 2 divided by 2 power this thing it will be t power minus 1 divided by minus 1 so minus 1 by t integration so the integration part is minus 1 by t if you take minus outside and if you uh, uh, apply the limits, it will be a minus 1 divided uh, by a. So, total it will be 2 by 3. And if you apply 1 by a minus 1 minus 1 by a. This thing. Now, they are saying this complete thing is equal to 1. Integration is completed. Now, we have to solve just. So, when you observe carefully here. Here it is. When we uh, shift to the, uh, to the right side, it will be 1 minus a minus 1 by a. Equal to, it will be. 3 by 2 and if you multiply minus here it will be minus here it will be plus so i can take common here minus a plus a minus 1 uh, divided by a into a minus 1 equal to 3 by 2 equal to 3 by 2 here this is cancel and and here i can uh, change this as here it is a here it is a minus 1 i can shift this minus 1 to downside it will be 1 minus a so 1 divided by a into 1 minus a equal to 3 by 2. So 1 divided by a minus a square equal to 3 by 2. It will be 2 equal to 3 a square minus plus 3 a. So it will be 3 a square minus 3 a plus plus 2 equal to 0. Now solving for a. Solving for a what I will get 3 plus or minus root of 3 square 9. 9 minus uh, Yes, it is correct only. Mm, I have to just solve it. There is no big deal here. Uh, I have to just solve it. And I have to check check the roots. This thing is minus. Yes, it is minus only. A minus A square. Yes, it is correct only. B square minus 4AC. Why I am getting here negative? Where I done wrong? <sighs> so uh, here there is a minus here. So I can do this thing minus here. Here it is minus. I forgot it. Here it is minus. Now. It is this thing. Now, plus 4 into 3 into 2. So, divided by 6. 3 plus or minus root of 9 plus 4 3 is 12. 12 to 24 divided by 6. 3 plus or minus, it will be it will be 33 divided by 6. So, 3 plus or minus root 33 divided by 6. What is What are these two things? An irrational number satisfies the above equation. Yes, it is correct because A is irrational number. No A satisfies the above equation. It is wrong. An integer a satisfies above equation. It is not an integer. It is not an integer. More than one value of a satisfies the equation. Yes, it is correct. So what are the options? C D. So like this, guys, you have to solve these equations because these questions came directly in J Advanced 2022. So by solving these type of questions, you have to gain confidence. So you can do any type of question. Just apply the concept. What is the concept here? You have to completely substitute the denominator with some variable t. Like these things you can solve easily. So that's it for the video. If you like this video, like this video and also uh, subscribe to this channel and if you want more this type of sessions you can hit the bell icon to, for receiving the videos and also you can comment down the videos which you want so i can make that videos and if you uh, didn't join the telegram group join the telegram group because it is really important where i share the updates uh, so you have to join uh, that's it for the video thank you